Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Ron Alasco from International Trade Council. Uh, thank you for attending today's webinar. Before we start, I just want to do a quick housekeeping. Um, anyone from the audience, can you please type in yes if you can see the PowerPoint presentation and if you can hear the audio? Can you guys hear the, the audio? Anyone from the audience can hear the audio, please? Can you? Okay, perfect. Thank you. And um, just to a quick housekeeping. So we are currently um, on the presentation mode. And um, if there are some questions during the presentation, please feel free to type in your question on the Q&A box or the chat box. And our speaker will going to answer the question after his presentation. So um, our topic for today's webinar is um, to be to be or not to be crafting captivating corporate videos. Our speaker are Jay Su, CEO of Moving Bits uh, Private Limited. Together with him is Hazul, Idwaz Lamin, and Kai Ong. This webinar will teach you what story to tell for the biggest impact, how to humanize your brand, the impact your product or service has on your customers, and when to use testimonials. So let's hear from our speaker. Go ahead, Mr. Su. Thank you, everyone. I really appreciate you all coming uh, with me. Uh, as uh, Ron just said, as my chief creative officer, Haz, and you'll see them in a moment when, we, when we're done, and uh, my creative director, Kai. And uh, what we're going to show you is the work we've done and explain why we do it. Uh, this is not a... We hope to give you some pointers uh, when you're doing your own corporate video, whether you're crafting it yourselves or you're hiring someone in your country or wherever you are. Uh, many times we work with big B2B companies, some famous, some not so famous, but they're not usually, one thing's for sure, what we're going to talk about, uh, companies that are not usually seen by a consumer because your product or service goes to a uh, another business. And... And a corporate video is very, very helpful. Everyone has one. Most people do have one. What we're trying to do today is help you stand out because uh, I know everyone here has worked very hard to build their, their business. And if, even if you, whether you're an owner or whether you are someone working for the company, I know you must work hard and I'm sure you're proud of your business, even uh, uh, for the employees. And uh, so we, we feel like a great corporate video it's like a several row suit, meaning that it should stand out. It doesn't matter what, what business you are in, it needs to stand out because there are many, many people who are going to see it. Sometimes, as you all probably know, uh, government agencies, sometimes it's uh, investors because you're about to IPO uh, uh, or, or you are already listed somewhere and then uh, you people who want to buy shares in your company would like to find out more. There's no better way than to do it quickly within two minutes, three minutes tops, unless you've got a really killer story uh, to get your message across to the potential investor. Or it's just analysts who are at a meeting uh, and they need to know what you're up to. You need a corporate video as well. And it, and especially in this today's digital world with social media and TikTok, all that material that you craft for your corporate video can easily be repurposed, not the whole video, maybe parts of the video for Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. So I think it is well worth your time and effort to learn how to uh, not, you know, get some pointers on how to do a corporate video that makes a big impact. Because I think Everyone works very hard, including us. We are a B2B business. Uh, the image of a business, as, as, as the words are coming out here, you can see. I think it establishes trust. It differentiates you from your competition. And obviously, if, if you are able to differentiate yourself from your competition, establish trust, uh, uh, success, we hope, uh, uh, is the final uh, result of the effort and time and even money that you spend on the corporate video. So without too much uh, preamble, visual branding, we believe your corporate video should be custom tailored, meaning 
you can't just buy uh, a template and plug your story in because I think especially big B2B businesses, even small B2B businesses, you are uniquely your own, uh, which is why you are in business. You provide something special. We believe very strongly, even if you do it yourself, it should be custom tailored to your story. It has to be of uh, high quality because nowadays our phones, I think all of you here definitely carry a phone, a handphone, I'm pretty sure. And even those phones are extremely high quality LED screens that you have. So I, 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 I wouldn't work very hard to make sure it's high quality. Timeless. Now, this is a big deal because if you spend a lot of money making a corporate video, we would like it to last at least minimum five years. Uh, because j just because so much effort and money is put in, if anything at all, try to make your corporate video modular in that. Obviously, over five years, your business would have changed tremendously. You want to add in new modules or take out modules. It's a lot easier than reconstructing the whole thing. Plus, it's a lot cheaper, more cost-effective. Uh, professional image, we talked about that already. So... All points one, two, and three here uh, help support point four. And then, of course, you want to make a statement. Uh, making a statement is very important because you are in competition. I'm sure unless you are in a very, very rarefied area, for instance, maybe making rockets that go to the moon, uh, most of us have competition. And so we want to make a statement. Versatility, because like I said earlier, sometimes, depending on your business, you have a, a government agencies or the members of the government themselves wanting to, to know about your company coming to visit your facility and then you want to play them something as an introduction so that they very quickly, in two to three minutes, they should be on the same page as you about what your business is about. Uh, you want to do the same to be able to use it for analysts, for potential investors and reporters. And even maybe uh, 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 the average man on the street. Why? Because you will see, we're going to show you some examples where you make your video work more than just a corporate video. It can be a, a, a HR video. If, if done correctly, edited correctly, all the money you spend on that corporate video, let's find another use for it. So so uh, you might not know us at the moment. Moving Bits will explain. We'll talk about ourselves later because it's not what you're here for. You're not here to, to, for, to for us to do a sales pitch. You're here to le learn something. So we'll talk about it later. But versatility is very, very important because you save money. You enable yourself uh, uh, to, to apply that video that you've spent so much effort, time, money on uh, for various other users. Recruitment uh, would be one of that. So without further ado, you, you, you may be sitting there and wondering, who the hell are, are these guys who think that they can talk about such a topic? Well, uh, I, I would ask that. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that at all because uh, I'm the big skeptic and I and you should be skeptical. Let me show you over 25 years, in two minutes, over 25 years, some of the companies that we've worked for and then we'll go on with our presentation. I'm living in the moment. 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 I
So, as you've seen, we've been very fortunate over 25 years. Uh, we've worked with some very big companies uh, uh, across the world, actually. But because we're headquartered in Singapore, we mostly work in Southeast Asia and the, and the Asia Pacific. Uh, you saw quite a few of B2C companies uh, that we represent. Disney, uh, uh, Hong Kong Disneyland, uh, um, uh, HP, all those. Uh, we've, we've been doing this a, a very long time. Uh, only because we've been, everything you see there is done in-house from brief by the client uh, uh, all the way through to creative idea, production, post-production, all done in our Bukit Dima studios, uh, all under well, kind of one roof. We have three units, but it's under one roof. And, uh, and that's why I think uh, we've been uh, fortunate enough to have worked with such wonderful names uh, in, in the corporate world. With that, let's go straight into why we're here, which is us trying to help you uh, take, get some pointers about how to do a really good corporate video that answers all those points that we talked about, including timelessness and versatility. So to start with, we have a client, a very good client. Uh, we love them because I'll explain why. They've been working with us for over a decade or more now. And when they first came to us, this is the video that was shown that they had at that time. And I think this was okay for a, a certain uh, uh, era. Uh, but I think in our, in, in, when they first came to us, it was about maybe this is now 2023, maybe about 2010. Uh, it, was, it was a little bit too... Uh, old-fashioned, I believe. I'm going to play a little bit of it so you get an idea of what I'm talking about. Uh, in the in the in the 90s, maybe the 80s, 90s, people used to take their corporate brochures and turn it into a video like this. Oh. Samuo was incorporated in Singapore as a transport and logistics company in the early 1970s by three lorry drivers. Its business started developing in the 1980s, where it secured a few sizable transportation and logistics projects from the Housing and Development Board and also the Public Works Department. The company later also... So I'm going to stop there. Uh, it's a construction company. And uh, as you saw started uh, humble beginnings and everything and of course there were a lot of uh, stills in those days because you know unlike today where everyone can shoot a video using their iphone in those days it's a little bit more difficult so there were a lot of stills to work with so when we met them uh, i met them with kai my creative director he'll talk about it in a moment uh we said we 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 we, we, we sat down and, and and we said this is usually a checklist that we go through uh when we sit down with a client where we are, where we construct something from the ground up. Number one, what problem does your their your business solve? Ask yourself that. And uh, if your business disappears today, what effect will that have on the people who use your service or product? Is there anything in your service or product that is inspirational, heroic, poetic? You'll see why in a moment. And we're going to use the same company, Samuel, to show you what we did uh, having to tell the same story. And add an appropriate soundtrack. Now, this is really, really important, I believe, because uh, if you ever get a chance, try watching a movie that you like without, if you can find a copy without the, the music or the sound effects, you'll see how much less that experience would be without the music and the sound effects. So it's very important that, that, and I believe this, the music uh, sound effects is 50% of the video. Uh, and then the pace of the edit, because, because uh, it's 2023 and uh, people cut very much faster than they did. When you watch Netflix, pictures are changing very quickly because it's 2023 compared to, say, 1990 when you were watching a TV show. So you have to ask yourself if that pace fits your story, fits your product or service and then finally when it's all done you've got all this you've answered all those questions how can you make it cinematic and even with your iphone and i'm sure you all have seen a lot of uh, videos out there that says shot and an apple iphone 15 pro or pro max 
uh, you can see even with those, even with your phone, you can make it cinematic and there are ways of doing that, which we'll talk about in a moment. So coming back to Sam Wall, which I just showed you uh, its first original corporate video. It's still on the internet. Oh, by the way, when you see that QR code there, you can uh, take it. It'll, if you use your phone to capture it, it'll lead you to a link so that you can store, uh, you can go to YouTube and watch the video. Otherwise, anyway, Ron tells me this is being recorded and it'll be up on ITC's YouTube uh, uh, channel. Anyway, so Samwo is a construction company or rather an infrastructure uh, company. Not exactly the most uh, sexiest thing, but very, very important. It specialized at that time when Singapore was being developed. Uh, Mr. Lee Kuan Yew was prime minister then. We were trying to become uh, a city of some renown. Uh, so without them, so what's heroic or poetic about what Samuel does? As I say here, without them, uh, you all know Singapore as what we are today. Without them, we might not be what we are today in, in all seriousness. And so, so what's the key here? They laid down the roots of modern Singapore. Pardon my, ty my typo on the down, uh, but yeah. So they laid down the roots of, of, of modern Singapore. So what's the, the challenge to us then brought to us was how do we elevate this construction company's image to be sexy and appealing? Uh, we want to showcase the objective, of course, is to showcase the company's evolution uh, as a leader in innovative infrastructure solutions. Because obviously a lot of their contacts come from big government uh, because they are building infrastructure for the country. And uh, so the target audience, as I said before, government and MNCs, that was a given, right? Uh, but in their industry, they, they too need to hire skilled people. And we wanted to be able to use this piece to attract new engineering graduates by positioning the company as an exciting career choice. First, I'm going to show you what we did. And then uh, I guess if you have questions, you can, you, you, I can stop. Or if not, I'll just carry on all the way to the end. And then you can ask us questions all in one go. This is what we did. It started as a dream. Homes. Jobs. A first-rate economy. Things seemed impossible for the tiny island of the nation. But our people made a way. And we learned a lot about ourselves. How we take matters into our own hands. Make something out of nothing. That's what Samuel thinks about each day. To find ways and means to make life better for people, companies, and our city. Because no matter how our nation grows, we know it's important to bring our people closer, keeping us connected, and to do it safely, more reliably, more precisely. That's how we do our part for this global city. Connecting the economy every day. Providing the city with quality asphalt, concrete, and building materials. Our goals meet the needs of citizens and officials. But our heart serves with passion and expertise that brings quality. and satisfaction. The story 
creative samuel will never be ours to own but a legacy to be shared across generations from humble beginnings to creative journeys so that what began as a singapore dream becomes the underdog story of all time So I'm sure you took note of all those things that we talked about. Uh, the production things would be music, sound. Uh, it's it's poetic. We turned a construction company and made it patriotic more than anything else. And I know the CEO of Samo very well. He tells me every time a, a minister from Singapore, from the Singapore government uh, goes visit them, they always ask about this video, uh, and they're very proud of it. And we are very proud of it because it's lasted them. Uh, a, a good five, six years now, and they're still using it. Even though we've done a new one, they're using it as a prequel to the sequel, uh, uh, if that makes any sense. Uh, wonderfully crafted by my creative director, Kai, whom you will meet uh, when we are done with this presentation, and you can ask him questions directly about what he was thinking as he built this thing, because I think it'll be easier that way. Let me move on to Ocean Mineral Singapore. This is done, uh, again, by, by my other brilliant creative guy, our chief creative officer, Haz. Uh, let me talk a little about OMS because not everybody might know anything about OMS. So as you can see today, I wanted to show you all companies that are not famous to the consumer. These are big, huge uh, corporate companies that only supply other businesses. So Ocean Mineral Singapore uh, is a, is a uh, as you can see on the left-hand side, it's a majority owned by Capital Corporation. You all might know Capital Corp. Uh, they're very big, very famous uh, here in Singapore. Homegrown company uh, like Sam Wall. And then, of course, they have other partners. Also very famous, Lockheed Martin, uh, uh, Seabed Resources, different big corporate companies. But anyway, as an entity, they were, they were approved by the International Seabed Authority uh, for its first, its very first Seabed Exploration License. And then over the next few months, they will work with ISA to finalize the term of the contracts and the award of the license. And the, what did that license allow them to do? The exploration of polymet polymetallic nodules at the site uh, within the Clapton, clarion Clipperton fracture zone of the Pacific. A site, I believe, James only James Cameron has visited in his uh, uh, submarine, which was one of the issues uh, that, for, that, 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 that was brought forth to us. We could not shoot the place because... We did not have James Cameron's money. Uh, if you don't know, for those of you who don't know, James Cameron is the director of Titanic and, of course, the, the whole Avatar series. So James Cameron had a lot bigger budgets than we did. Uh, so he's visited the site with a camera we haven't. But that meant we had to consider another way of telling this story successfully. How would we going to do that if we couldn't shoot it? Uh, but we also knew that the, this story had the potential to be very dramatic because it's sustainability, it's everything that we are talking about today. How to save our small uh, 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 blue planet in the sky, you know, without because they were going to do energy exploration and all that kind of thing. And then, uh, of course, if it's dramatic, that gives us a lot of chance to play with sound and music because, you know, sound and music, as I said, I, I believe it's 50% of the video. It heightens... The subject matters drama and then at the end of the day i can tell you all sorts of theory if you watch it and i'm not entertained then we've we've missed the point we've missed the objective the whole point is someone's got to be captivated by your corporate video and make sure that uh they remember you for all the right reasons so that when your business comes to mind because they need something that you supply they will call you. Uh, so the reminder, I'm going to a very quick reminder of what we talked about. What problem does your business solve? Uh, what happens if your business disappears today? Anything that is your product says that's inspirational? Music, sound, very important. I've been saying that throughout. Pacing of edits, very important. And then how do you make it cinematic? In the case of Ocean Mineral Singapore, our challenge was, it's a very complex story, very profound Literally layers deep, literally, but then we have to 
to make it entertaining, interesting in less than a, in in two minutes, so that we can rally the brightest minds in science and industry to champion uh, OMS. And uh, we want to create bus as well, right? Because any kind of bus is good bus, especially for a company like this in the energy field. So, and then of course our target audience are the usual scientists, industry experts, but a lot of it is the general public as well. So this is what our chief creative officer has came up with. Uh, we're very, very proud of it. No shoot because we had we didn't have the money to go shoot uh, the Mariana the Mariana Trench. Here's what we did. Of the 9.6 billion people in the world in the year 2050, six billion will be living in cities. For these, we'll require many more buildings and transport networks and miles of power and data cables. We'll be using more electronic equipment and our greater use of renewable energy will require more wind turbines and more and better batteries to store energy drawn from the sun and the wind. We'll be even more dependent on natural resources. As it is, over half of the world's copper and iron resources have been depleted in the last 50 years. And we're now mining in increasingly remote locations, digging deeper and wider underground and displacing entire communities to make way for mines. And with so many different mines extracting so many different minerals, forests, waters, and whole ecosystems have never been so severely threatened. There has to be a better way of extracting the minerals we need, perhaps out in the ocean where we could mine for minerals without destroying the land. And at depths so great, there would not be coral reefs or fishing activities. There needs to be a better, less destructive way of extracting the minerals we need. The answer may lie 4,000 meters below the surface of the sea. Here, lying on the seabed, are geological formations called polymetallic nodules. Inside each one are commercially attractive levels of manganese, nickel, copper, cobalt, and rare earths, the very minerals essential to sustaining our urban lifestyles. The United Nations International Seabed Authority estimates that there are 500 billion tons of polymetallic nodules present in our oceans around the world. Mining for these nodules, unlike shallow water mineral mining, requires no excavation, no destructive digging. The nodules are simply picked off the ocean floor for chemical processing. And at depths of four to 5,000 meters, the environmental impact can be kept minimal. Through the ISA, Keppel Group has secured an exploration site in the Pacific Ocean, some 80 times the size of Singapore. The license to explore the seabed combined with our offshore and marine expertise, holds the potential for a more sustainable way to meet the world's resource challenge. This is Keppel, and we're shaping the future. So again, I think you took note of the sound, the music, the sound effects, and how it interacted with the picture to provide a whole experience. We're trying to make it entertaining. It's somewhere it's really scientific, but uh, delivered in very layman terms so that anyone who's watching it understands it. So again, we got great feedback for that. When won many awards and all. That, by the way, execution-wise was a full-blown 3D animation because, as I said, we did not have the budget to, to uh, uh, go to the depths of the Marinara Trench to shoot. Unfortunately, we would have loved to. Uh, but yeah, so that was how we tackled that. Now, one last case study. This is a logistics company. Carrier, everyone knows, they sell air conditions, but Carrier has a division called Carrier Transico that what they do is they refrigerate containers that go on board big ships or trucks. And uh, we were given the challenge to how do we engage a diverse audience from industry experts to everyday individuals, uh, let everyone know that, hey, this is a big deal. You know, you don't realize this, but refrigerated containers is a big, hairy deal. And uh, the objective, of course, uh, Carrier had just come up with a, a brand new software hardware combination called Lynx Fleet. Uh, it's a trademark name. I will show you a little bit about Lynx Fleet in a moment. Uh, as an essential tool for enhancing container operations. Target audience, of course, aimed at logistics and shipping firms, cargo companies, 
and the general populace because at that time, if I'm not wrong, time-wise, it was like, it was just after the pandemic or just bef just before the, the, the we came out of a full lockdowns and uh, vaccines that were needed for COVID-19 had to be uh, treated carefully because they needed to be stored at a certain temperature. Otherwise, uh, they would be destroyed and, and, and a lot of money, were, millions of dollars would have gone to waste. So, so, so for us, one of the big things is that we had to show that uh, refrigerated containers are a big deal. Of course, food is another thing. But at that time, uh, nothing spoke louder than uh, the, the, uh, the, the medicine that, that they were shipping. But anyway, let me show you. This is Link's fleet. In today's cold chain, balancing efficiency and accountability is critical for refrigerated transporters. Make it easy by adding intelligence and insight to your operations with the Lynx fleet system from Carrier Transit Cold. I'm not going to play the whole thing because that's what in the business is called an explainer video. That's a great job explaining what Lynx fleet is about, but it doesn't get you emotionally. When I say get you, I mean the viewer emotionally attached to the program. So I'm going to bring this back one more time and I'm going to apply my my uh, my checklist to carrier transico what problem does this business solve it keeps supplies fresh if it disappeared today what effect would it have uh, for users of their product there'll be no way of getting perishables across the globe so for instance if we if the, if the vaccines were made in say uh china to ship to singapore without refrigerated containers uh you know what happens that the, the messengers goes to waste uh, is there anything about their product that is inspirational, heroic, or poetic? Well, feeding young kids worldwide. Uh, how about improving someone's health? I think that's pretty heroic. That's pretty, you know, again, like I say, the pandemic really brought that home to us. And then, uh, let me move, move on. Uh, add an appropriate soundtrack, as I said earlier. Uh, pacing of the edit. Watch the pace of this next one. And then ask yourself, what can we do to make it more cinematic and this is this of course we use a mixture of live footage as well as photoristic 3d animation and this is where both kai's uh, expertise and hazard's expertise came into play because i didn't mention this earlier but he can talk about it himself later has started out life as an animator before he became a creative director and then a director himself and then of course kai comes from a pure uh, a more pure filmmaking point of view and we put both skills to the ultimate use here in this video. You saw Link's Fleet. I'm going to go back very quickly just to show you Link's Fleet again so you get a feel of what I'm talking about. In so, today's cold chain, balancing efficiency and accountability is critical. For so this is what they call an explainer video. By adding intelligence and insight to your operations with the Link's Fleet system from Carrier Transit Cold. All right, so you get an idea of how I think most of us know how explainer videos work. Let me go on very quickly and show you what we took that and what we ended up with. And then you can decide for yourself which is more entertaining and which you think will captivate the audience better. Imagination. It's in every one of us. The ability to take an impossible idea and make it happen. For over 50 years, we've been doing just that at Carrier Transicol, leading the revolution in transport refrigeration, connecting businesses and people to medicine, food, and other perishables anywhere across the world. Now, as the demands of the global population grow, we're reimagining what it takes to meet their needs. Today, our advanced telematics offering, Link's Fleet, is transforming the cold chain, enabling secure storage and safe transportation, remote inspections that save operating expenses and increase efficiency, and real-time tracking of the voyage to ensure seamless handoffs by land and sea. No one else offers as complete and connected a cold chain that you can control on demand from a computer or on the go from your phone. But life doesn't always go according to plan. Things can go wrong. Temperatures may fluctuate. Equipment may fail. 
inspectors make mistakes. So we've nurtured a culture of responsibility and accountability. Leveraging Carrier's Lynx digital platform, we're deploying machine learning, the internet of things, and data analytics to create a stronger, smarter, and more connected cold chain that allows us to anticipate a problem and take preemptive steps to avert a crisis before it happens. Your cargo deserves a trustworthy carrier and we'll do whatever it takes to get it into your hands. So whatever your challenge, wherever your destination, count on us to imagine the solution and make it happen. And that's it. So this is how we chose to tell this story. And I think you'll agree with me. It's a, a lot more colorful uh, and it gets the message across much better. And we still showed the Lynx Fleet software and so on and so forth. I, I uh, Don't get me wrong. I don't think that you do not need the explainer video. I think certain audiences, you do need that explainer video. But to capture the general public or capture the imagination of your biggest client, uh, you play something like this, straight away everyone gets it because why? Your children are involved. Everybody knows that, you know, uh, you want to, everybody wants their child to be healthy and uh, refrigerated containers go a long way uh, to making sure they eat healthy food. With that, uh, thank you for listening to us. Uh, you've seen, uh, you'll see them in a while. Has my, our chief creative officer and uh, Kai, uh, um, our creative director, uh, they've been with me for quite a while now and I could never have done this without their their brilliant skills uh, uh, and talent. So with that, I am uh, done. I think uh, Ron's going to take us out of uh, the presentation and then we can answer your questions if you have any. Sure, perfect. Thank you for that very wonderful presentation. Um, it's very uh, interesting. So we're open for questions now. Um, if you have any questions, just please feel free to type in your questions on the chat box or Q&A box. Uh, while we are waiting for questions, I just have some few reminders. So this webinar is recorded and this will be uploaded to our YouTube channel. So if you would like to replay, just feel free to do so. And we will be sending a certificate of participation to everyone um, with, of course, uh, the name of the speaker and the company they're representing. So just please wait for the certificate of uh, participation. And lastly, for those mem uh, audience right now who are not yet a member of International Trade Council, uh, we can offer free membership. So please feel free to reach out to me directly. Uh, while we are waiting for questions, Mr. Su, if you would like to type in your email address on the chat box, so if sure. someone would like to reach out to you directly, they can uh, do so. Sure. Uh, and and uh, I'd be happy to answer questions. It doesn't need to be doesn't need to be about anything at all. Feel free to reach out to me. Uh, we can if you're in Singapore, you can have a cup of coffee. Uh, if I'm traveling in the region, which uh, the three of us do quite a fair bit, uh, we'd love to see you and just have coffee. Nothing else. Perfect. So we have one question here, if you can see on the screen, so anyone can answer the question. That's, I'll, I'll answer that first since uh, the two guys leave me to deal with uh, these kind of issues. Uh, it's uh, Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. We have a great time doing this. I'll be very straightforward with you. It could be anything from $15,000, 10, 15,000 USD, all the way to 300, 400,000 USD. You're going to be at your next question in your head then is why the huge difference? Uh, many times our clients come to us and if they have tighter budgets, what we do is we find to find a way to be just as entertaining, but using techniques, meaning that, as I said, like the earlier one, uh, the, the Keppel one, we did, we did not have the budget that James Cameron had when he did Titanic. So we came up with that way of doing it using 3D animation, which is a whole lot cheaper than flying a whole crew uh, to the Marinara Trench and then diving in and shooting. So anything from direct answer anything from 10 to 15000 usd depending on length what kind of story you're trying to tell to the sky's literally the sky's the limit uh, of course if we had a titanic budget we'd be so happy perfect thank you um yeah any other question please feel free to type in all right so um i don't see any more question as of the moment 
anything you would like to add, Kai or uh, Harzul, uh, anything would like to add about the presentation, please feel free to do so. All right, we have one here. Well, let Haas or Kai answer that. Should I? Uh, okay, I'll, I'll take that question. Um, so the question is, do you first create a storyboard after having answered? Yeah. So I think a lot of times when we do, whether it's VFX driven or if it's just filming, uh, we do want to have a storyboard done out because it helps us, you know, and it helps you also as a, as a client, you know, uh, to keep the budget down, right? Uh, we don't want to go on set and then not know what we're going to be shooting or what we're going to be doing. So a lot of times the pre-production on this takes a big bulk of the production timeline uh, just so that we can lock down every single thing. Obviously, you know, on set things may change, you know, or last minute changes may happen uh, and then we'll go off and, and fix them on the fly. But otherwise, yeah, um, the storyboard definitely. Uh, it also helps everybody on set to um not just people on set but people in the post-production team to understand you know like what's going on and and what the story is about and what needs to be constructed or done or shot you know yeah so yeah definitely storyboards all right thank so, you and, and to add on to that thanks Haas. Uh, and to add on to michael's question um i think specifically if you were to ask um at which stage of the storyboard uh, is created um, typically, uh, it takes place after we've signed off with the client. So initially, if you are thinking about um, the four key questions that uh, Jay has went through in the presentation, uh, what happens is uh, our team will sit down and internalize the brief, and then we will return to the client uh, sometime about in about two weeks' time at least uh, to with a write-up, uh, like a one-pager or maybe a presentation to share with you the different ideas that and the different concepts that we could uh, we, we could come up with to answer your brief. At the same time, we will tag like a uh, price range or budget range. And at the same time, uh, with, uh, with some visualizations, whether is it um, an image or whether is it uh, a, 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 a photo board or uh, even a reference video, just to give you an, uh, an idea and a taste of what the final product will be. And then we will take the conversation from there. All right, thank, thank you. you. Any more questions? I just want to add that this whole point is not for you to, not for you to come to us. I know Kai is uh, 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 letting you know what happens in the process of uh, what we do as a job, but that's not why we're here. Uh, we're here and please feel free to reach out to us. Uh, so you have my email address. Uh, ask me any questions. I'll be as direct and frank as I can. Uh, with the answers, whether it's, I know sometimes cost, cost always, an, cost always an issue, even in our business. So, so I, I understand that. But the point of us being here is not so much to to say, come, uh, uh, let us do your thing for you. What we want, we really want to help with what, how to make you look good uh, more than anything else. Doesn't need to be us. You have an iPhone. Some people, uh, some uh, of our friends, they might be doctors, they might be whatever, but they really have an eye. Or the good musicians, whatever, and they can do it themselves. Uh, and if you just need a little bit of help, or you need a little bit of uh, 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 a hint, a tip, we'll be more than happy to give it to you. There are no secrets here, because really everything that I just shared with you, uh, someone's teaching it on the internet, uh, on YouTube. There's nothing that you cannot learn on YouTube. So if you are motivated to do it yourself, I, I would say go for it. You don't need a big camera setup. Like I said, uh, go watch the stuff that they've shot on an iPhone 50 for, for businesses, by the way, not for not for TikTok, uh, although there are businesses on TikTok too. Uh, but but that's why we're here. If you need anything, any help, any any tip you want or introduction to whatever, uh, please reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to point you in the right direction. Uh, and like I say, if you want to have coffee, that, that works too. All right, thank you. Um, yes, perfect. So uh, again, if you would like to reach out to them directly, um, his email address is posted in the chat box. Uh, we are still open for questions. Any other questions, please feel free to type in to the chat box or in the Q&A box. I see a lot of, while well, we're waiting for the question, I see sure. a lot of, I mean, I'm looking at the chat, a lot of you have uh, very different companies and uh, 
it makes me so excited because I think uh, a lot of a lot of times, as I said when we started, a lot of people just see most of us as consumers see consumers or co companies that face consumers, Netflix, Disney, uh, you name it. I think we all know the 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 the, the Hilton, you know, all those familiar names. But it's so much more fun. Like for us, like Sam War, for instance, which I showed you right at the beginning, uh, we seen their name on billboards because you know when you have a big construction. They'll put the, the surveyor and the quantity surveyor and blah, blah, blah. They'd see their name, but we never knew what they did until we were contacted by them. And then, of course, finally they hired us and we had, we had to learn about their business. So one of the fun things about what we do is we learn about all kinds of businesses. We've done like Fullerton Health, which, of course, is a big medical company. Uh, the big hotels. I mean, if you go to our website, you can see what we've done there. And then, of course, Disney. Uh, everyone, I mean, you know, everyone knows Disney. Uh, uh, and, and but, but the, the exciting ones are those that, like OMS. You know, when Hus came back from the brief uh, with OMS uh, about OMS, I was like, wow, I didn't know that we were we had a company majority owned by Keppel, a Singaporean company, uh, uh, that that did this. You know, I really did not know, and it's so fun in the course of all that. Right, we've learned a lot. Like uh, when we worked, when we when a job I did for Keppel, they flew us out to uh, 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 Texas. I'm trying to remember the name, uh, 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 Brownsville. Yes, Brownsville. And I went up on the Keppel, uh, uh, the rig, the oil rig. They built Keppel builds oil rigs at that time. O N M. In case you don't know, so I go up 300 feet in the air or something, and I look out, and everyone tells me, "You see that vehicle moving there? That's the U.S." Mexico border and uh, and Homeland Security was patrolling it. So it's really mind-boggling that, you know, a lot of us do not know the kind of businesses that exist in in our world today that actually makes the world turn. And uh, it's really quite phenomenal because, again, I'm looking at these, uh, the names that are on the chat group here and, I, and you have your titles and your company and all that. And uh, thank you for coming. I, I think both on behalf of Haas. Oh, okay. There's a question. Uh, uh, Okay. Yeah, so I have a question. Yeah, for everyone, I'm just wondering, uh, is, is there a challenge that you've had uh, while working on your corporate videos? And in, maybe uh, if you could share some insight, we'd be happy to, to answer your, your uh, you know, to answer your questions or to give you our perspective on how it can be overcome. Yes, uh, these are questions from the speakers. So anyone can participate um, through the chat box. So um, if you would like to share um, your information about this question please feel free to do so it's a good question uh uh, uh, uh the, it's something that even we face right because there's always a challenge i mean life in general is a challenge as i like to tell uh, the guys in my office so uh if, we, if you don't have one now feel free to uh email me and then i'll direct it to house of kai uh, if it's if it's uh, uh, in in their wheelhouse, and then they, and we'll be happy to answer you. But yeah, life's a challenge. So corporate videos videos are definitely a challenge. I mean, we this is our bread and butter, and we we see it every day. So so let us know. Uh, we'll be very very happy to help. Yes, definitely. If you would like to um to answer the question via email, of course, you can uh, directly email Jesu. Um, if, if you have some challenges about your corporate videos, they'll be happy to help you out. So um, these, um, their email addresses are here. So please feel free to copy the email addresses. Okay, so um, I don't think uh, we, we have um, some questions from, okay, there's one here who share some challenges here. I'll project on the screen. That's a really good one. So, Michael, I think that's really, really good. Uh, uh, you might want, so as I said earlier, right, when we do these things, and I noticed that you are in a, 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 some kind of property business. I don't know your business, but I'm presuming it's uh, got to do with properties. I think you are absolutely right. You don't want to spend a ton of money on ad spend. So now the best thing, right, is if you did a, a corporate video overall uh, and you pick out sections or at least design moments in it, that you can use in short form, whether on Instagram, it's free, uh, or TikTok, it's free, or YouTube, it's also free. And then use your other, I'm sure you have other marketing channels that you use for your business. 
use that to drive people there to your link. That will help you a lot, especially if you're. I'm again. I'm thinking. I know you're in properties, uh, uh, or it has something to do with properties. If you can do it in an entertaining manner, uh, and if you if you reach out to me uh, off offline, I can show you what we've done for like UOB properties and uh, uh, Far East and all that. Where everybody has the same problem. It doesn't matter matter how how big or how small your company is. Everybody has the same problem. You want to not spend a lot of money on the advertising because you have to recoup that money. We get it. I mean, we we are the most conscious of this when we are engaged by any uh, a customer. So so reach out to me and I'll show you. But direct answer, definitely make it entertaining enough to, to stand up on TikTok and to stand up on Instagram and to stand up on YouTube. I think these three channels all free to you. You don't have to pay a cent. You can register an account or one of your marketing guys can, and then you can put your video on there. And if it's well done, especially on TikTok, I have seen incredible audience sizes uh, because the content was very entertaining. So main thing to look out for is to make sure your content about your company is entertaining. I hope that answers it. All right, thank you. So we have a we have a comment here from Hans. So he said that uh, he found groups on LinkedIn very efficient to spread uh, the word for free. Yeah, absolutely right. I mean, I I got this. I started. I don't know about maybe guys what five years back, and uh, and I've gotten a lot of even just for our own business. I gotten a lot of traction. The main thing is it helps a lot. Like uh, Hans, I see you're the CEO of your company. It helps a lot if you write it yourself. Uh, I found that my experience has been, first of all, your own friends will know your tone of voice and they'll know what you're like. So when you write, they'll kind of know what you are. So my point being, when you farm it out to someone else to do, which I know you're busy with your business and all that, it's a, it's a viable option. But I found that you get a lot of traction when it's you doing the right thing. And when you see me on LinkedIn, I'll talk about anything and my friends know uh, my staff knows uh, it's as authentic as it gets because I talk about the things I like. Uh, I talk about things I love and, and so on and so forth. So, yes, uh, short answer, LinkedIn is great, especially for B2B. The main thing, again, I think like anything else is to make it, to capture someone's imag imagination in the first five to ten seconds so that they watch the rest of it. So no matter what your, your business is, the first five to ten seconds has got to be so hooky. I like to use the word hooky because that reels someone in and goes like, ah, oh, okay, let me find out what this guy's business is about. Uh, and the more obscure your business is, I think the more hooky your introduction needs to be just because it's not Disney. I mean, like when we do Disney, you can put Mickey Mouse face and everybody's interested just because, you know, everybody knows it's, he's, he's iconic. But for like our business, we, we can't just do that because... We're not a worldwide name, neither do we. Uh, we're not a big company. So so it helps to be very hooky up front. All right. Thank you. Um, I don't see any other feedback or comments or questions here. Um, I think we can wrap up the presentation in the Q&A. Um, I would like to thank everyone uh, for attending this event. Um, the event is very interactive. Um, before we end the webinar, I would like to get, um, I would like to ask Jay if you have something to add before we end this presentation. Anyone from the group, um, if you would like to say something before we end the webinar. I think I'll speak on behalf of the, uh, uh, my, uh, my two wonderful creative guys here. Uh, thank you everyone for coming. We're very, we're very happy to be here. Uh, I want to do this because uh, Ron, or rather someone from Ron's office reached out to me and says, oh, what can you do to help uh, 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 people in, who are members of ITC? And ITC is an incredible organization. Uh, if you're not a member, I know Ron's got some something nice and special for you guys. If you are, you'll know it's been, uh, for us, we've been members for about maybe a year now. And it's been, it's been pretty good in that I've met a lot of people and, and I've made a lot of friends. And for me, I think that's what uh, business is about, making friends first, and then hopefully that uh, translates to business. Uh, but it's just nicer to make a friend, you know. Uh, but thank you, everyone, for coming along. We really appreciate it. 
Thank you, Jay. And we look forward having um, a webinar from you guys again in, in the next months uh, because webinar for ITC is all year round. So if you, have, if you would like to run another webinar, just please let us know. And again, from the audience, um, if uh, you are not yet a member of ITC, please feel free to uh, reach out to me and we are happy to give you a, a, a free membership. So again, thank you for attending today's webinar and we look forward um, to you guys to attend another webinar in the next few weeks. We, st we still have more webinars. Thank you and you guys all have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Su. Thank, thank you, Mr. Ong. Thank you, Mr. Lamin. Thank Bye. you. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Bye. -bye.